are noticing particular about their pints, and consumers in general nowadays are getting more curious about where their food comes from. So one Burnley brewery is deciding to go local when it comes to its barley, and they're reviving a type rarely seen in the region for 20 years. Jill Dunnigan has been down to the fields. You could call it living history. The barley being harvested here, known as Maris Otter, largely disappeared from the northwest 20 years ago, mainly because it's a bit of a pain to grow. It doesn't yield very well when you have to, you have to nurture it. You can't, you can't feed it hard, otherwise it spoils the grain for what they want to do with it. And what they want to do with it is turn it into beer. Maris Otter is a, a very traditional uh, barley. Uh, it makes fantastic quality beer. Um, and for years we've had to have second best really with, with low, low nitrogen levels of, of Maris Otter that's been around. We've, most brewers have had to blend that with other types of uh, varieties of, of barley. Until now, supplies have been distant and limited. The idea here is to keep production local. A lot of all these barley goes around the world, but this comes 35 miles up the road to Burnley. Moorhouse's brewery is famed for the Pendle Witches' Ales, a place where beers are discussed in poetic terms. Well, what does it taste like? Uh, sweet biscuit. And that's a very nice sort of flavour, really, really tasty. Three male fans will be sampling the new brew in the autumn. Oli, meanwhile, is enjoying the thought of a local pint. It's not going to be loaded on a wagon, taken on a boat to the other side of the world, and then you don't know what's going to happen to it. This is going to stay in the area. It's going to be turned into a beer that, that may end up in the pub just across the field. Jill Dunnigan, BBC Northwest Tonight, Rainhill. Moving on to sport now.